Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 at Oliver Lee State Park in New Mexico near Alamogordo, and look what we have in front of us. That is a Wee Roll trailer that has been converted into an RV by my friend here to my right from Indiana, Gil. Gil came by my campsite today and said hello, and next thing you know, I walked over here with him. Of course, I didn't realize I was talking to a celebrity. They built a trail for him personally to use all the way back over his RV. That's all crap, folks. You got to know that. But anyway, he's got a beautiful tow vehicle right here, a nice Chevrolet, a new one, looks like a good one. And uh, anyway, Gil, let's move over here and you can tell me a little bit about this unit. Well, let me, let, why don't you move over here so the okay. light will be in your face. I know you'll hate that. Well, this is Gil from Indiana, ladies and gentlemen, and this is his Wee Row. Gil, how much, did, how much does this thing weigh approximately? About, uh, about 2,000. About 2,000 pounds. Yeah. And when you bought it, it was a complete blank on the inside, right? right. Yeah. It had the electric outlets, outlets and it was uh, insulated. Okay. And other than that, uh, that was it. How many electrical outlets do you have on the inside? Two electrical outlets, but it's already wired for an air conditioner, right? Right, it's already wired for air yeah. let, let me show them that what you okay. showed me over here. See right over here, this this little spot right here, that, that's for an air conditioner. See, so he's got a big window here on this side. He's got two windows in the front, but they don't open. The ones on the sides do open, and he's also got a door, and in the back, I'll show you that in a minute, he's got some doors there. You can see how the electrical is wired. That's how it hooks up there. And then the cord, of course, goes over here to the 30 amp, and I'm sure that's probably 30 amp, right? Okay, let's go around. You lead, and I'll follow her like a good dog, and uh, we'll talk about this. So he, when he bought this, uh, folks, it was a complete blank, and I'm not going to walk in, but I will stick my camera in and kind of show you what we got here. But uh, what he did was he, he just pulled this thing out with nothing, right? Right. Okay, and that was in August of last year. Yep. And in he Florida. and he's lived in it since then, and he just bought things as he needed them, uh, as he was uh, driving around. Well, let me peek in here. He's also got a, he got smart somewhere and got him a step. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let me show you what he's got, and I'll be brief so we don't get too nosy. But he's got him a bed, uh, looks like a twin bed. Yep. Got about a two two cubic foot fridge in that yep. range. Yep. And uh, he's got plenty of water. Got a microwave. And this looks like some kind of that's cooler. A dehumidifier. Oh, that's a dehumidifier, all right. And then over there is a, what'd you call it, a ceramic heater? Yeah. Okay. Ceramic heater. All right, so you, I'll let you see this guy's like this. So he's got him a radio, he's got him a lamp, got a picture. If you got a picture of John Wayne, he's got to be all right, oh, right? Yeah. And he's got his cap. So you can see how much progress he's made in six months. Got him a place to hang his clothes. And he's got his fan going. Life ain't too bad. No, life. Like, yeah, life's good. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. I asked it. I asked you earlier, sure. and I don't mean to be nosy, but how much does something like this cost, just bare bones, like you got it? Well, like this, about forty-two hundred. Forty-two hundred. It was about thirty-nine. Then I had to pay extra for the extra windows because right. it, it didn't come the stock. It didn't come with uh, the, the three windows. It come with one window okay. on the other side. No window on this side. So, so you added uh, three windows. Two, and this one. Okay, and I'll hold this. I'll, I'll okay. just put it where yeah. you can hear you. I, I added three windows, and they were they are about a hundred bucks a piece. Okay, so you got three hundred dollars additional on the windows, and then they, of course, they've insulated it. Mm -hmm. Yep. And and it had a flooring, or yeah, mm -hmm. is yeah. that? It, yeah, it's just it's just uh, plywood floor, and I bought the rug for about eight bucks at Walmart. <laughs> I figure when it gets dirty, I'll just throw it away. No, I, believe me, I do that too. I, I do. I, I buy it cheap and throw yeah. it away. Well, are those 16-inch tires or 17? I think they're 16. Okay, well, damn, that looks like a pretty big tire. Yeah. I don't know who put that beer in there. I don't know. I uh, think it was a neighbor from down well, the road. It had yeah. to be. It couldn't have been, couldn't have been <laughs> yeah. me. So anyway, back here in the bear, I'm going to step by you. Okay. What he's, what he's got back here, guys, is something I think is very important. See, he, he told me. Of course, I don't know anything about this. This is his, ex, he's an expert. But you can get a fold down door, you know, like a toy hauler thing, or you can get these, uh, what do you call these doors? Barn doors. These are barn doors. I think he made the right choice yeah. because at some point, and I'm sure he'll figure it out himself, is uh, put some kind of screen, screen there or something. Where you can just get that much more airflow in there. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. You know, you did this because your wife passed away and you were just looking for something to keep you busy. Yeah, and I was 
was looking for. I knew I had to make a change in my life, so I made a big change. You did definitely made a big change. And I figured getting something like this, uh, you don't have that much money invested. If you nope. don't like it or you get tired of it, I've already been offered as much as what I give. For. Oh, you could sell it for what you yeah. got in it, I believe. And yes. I figured it wouldn't be that much of an investment if I wanted to up, you know, up the size. Yeah. I doubt if I will, though. Well, it's if you're all comfortable. All I need. That's yeah, all I need. It's amazing, you know. Once you get used to a small space, right. uh, it's you know you don't want to move up. Huh. You know, it, and, it, and it makes a difference too when you get rid of everything. Did you get rid of everything? Yeah. Good, everything good for you man that's that, that's tough isn't it yeah, yeah i know it is everything I, everything i got is right in here no i understand i mean uh <laughs> everything i've got in my casita is all i own okay so i mean you know that's all i much. need well you know but you've got a really good setup so you've yeah. got a, a a good reliable truck and uh, this unit here is very basic so you're not going to have any electrical problems no. or not, you know not it, too many issues you're going to have with it other than no. you know well, have you been in any rain in it yet? Oh, yeah, I've been in rain, and I've been in a little bit of hail. Oh, really? And I've been snowed on. I, I guess I've been snowed on about eight or ten times since I've been in New Mexico. No water leaks? or uh, No. Uh, easy no, to keep warm? No water, no water leaks. That ceramic heater, it'll run you out of there. Really? It's so hot. Well, that's... And, and that, I know that's the way it'll be when a guy puts an air conditioner in, because yeah. as small a unit as this is, it won't take much to well, cool it off. I always kid people about me having 84 square feet of living space. I think you got me beat. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, but you see a lot of small trailers out here. Yeah, you do. This but, damn time. Yeah, the, the little teardrop things yep. have really caught yep. on. In I fact, can. right the other day I walked around and I counted four yep. uh, right here in this small yep. uh, state park. But uh, anyway, Gil, so you're going to be, you've been on in this thing since August. Yep. And uh, your plans are now to kind of head back towards Indiana? Yeah, I got to go back to Indiana for a yearly checkup. Okay. And uh, uh, then get my checkup and spend time with the family. Then I'll head back out this direction. Because there's there's no place you can camp for In $4 Indiana? a night. Oh, no, 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 no. I do. That's why I do there, the New Mexico you know, State Park. Yeah. No. And I told that to some people, and they're like, well, yeah, but look what it costs you up front. I'm like, well, yeah, but you saved that. Well, yeah. The first couple of months. That's for 13 months. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I've already been out here eight, Yeah. so I've already got my money back. Ten times. <laughs> exactly. Ten t and if you wanted to, you don't even have to pay the $4. No. You know, you could get no. by for nothing. Yeah, I could Yeah, I could go here and camp for zero yeah. if I had the uh, solar. solar panels, stuff like that. Well, you know, but I think you've done an excellent job of adding the things that you need. So yeah. you just drove off with nothing. Exactly. <laughs> I hauled everything in the back of the truck, and I got to Florida, hooked to the trailer, and hit, got to New Mexico, and I've been here ever since. I mean, your first night you had to set up your bed, right? Exactly. Had to set up the bed, had to, uh, uh, next stop I got a fridge, and the next stop I got a coffee maker and a microwave, and you just add it as you need it. Well, no, that's right, and, and the good thing about it is you can walk in and out of Walmart without buying much stuff, because you yeah. ain't got anywhere to put it. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> And the nice thing is, you can get some of this stuff you buy at Walmart, no more than you get for it. Yeah. And like you say, it quits, you just throw it away. No, absolutely true. Because everything's throw away this daytime anything. Pretty much. If you tried to get it repaired, it'd cost you more than the product. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it would. Well, anyway, Gil from Indiana, thank you very much for coming sure. by my RV, and, and, and I wish you the best of sure. luck. And uh, you're going to be camped in New Mexico for a while, a few weeks? Yeah, you probably go. about three more weeks before I head to Indiana. Uh, I'm heading east now here and probably stop at uh, uh, Bottomless Lake okay. and then be heading east after that. Well, Get the I, yearly checkup and then come back. Well, good, good. all I can tell you is, that in my opinion, I think you have done it right. Let me get around here in the front of this thing and I'll end the video. Uh, uh, no, this is really. I, I saw this. So, you know, I actually almost bought one. Did you? Yes, sir. Yeah. I really did. I looked at them real close. All, and you know, Rusty, <laughs> you could do that. You know, of course, I'm kind of loony. You know what I mean? I get these fits. You know, I'll buy. Yeah. I'll buy an RV just because, or something different, just because yeah. I want you know, want to play. Yeah, I picked up on that back in the days with the uh, with the car. Yeah. I I, I thought about that. Well, I did the Prius thing, but yeah, the Prius. That's not easy. That's no, not, no I, I, I realize that. I'm thinking, no. okay, for, and you look at what the Prius is going to cost. Well, yeah, the, but the good thing about the Prius, even though they did cost, you know, 22000 even then or twenty, whatever it was, right. 
the resale value was good on it. Right. And the they have the hybrid allowed you to run the air conditioner 24 hours a day, seven days a week yep. if you wanted to, because it charged the battery and all that. Exactly. Stuff. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rusty78609 saying, if I can get my thumb up here, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in all of my videos. Why? Well, because uh, I, w I want you to. <laughs> anyway, drink plenty of water, keep your health. And in one of these days, maybe some of you that, some of you that are on the edge, yeah. take a look at Gil here. Yeah. Old Gil just jumped in there and exactly. did it. Exactly. Just, just do it. That's it. That's all. You know, it's just kind of like learning how to swim. You just got to jump in the water, right. right? Well, he jumped in the water and bought him a trailer with nothing in it and fitted it out as he's come and gone or on the road, and it's worked out real well. So anyway, guys, enjoy your life one day at a time. From uh, Oliver Lee State Park, bye-bye.